Here we're going to redirect the user if user is already logged in if, and if they try to manually go to this space, we want to redirect them away because the logged in user shouldn't be landing on this space. All right, so let's give that a try. Since we have our use selector already, we can grab the user from the state. So let's do that. Const um, user, we can destruct the user from state using use selector state that will return the state. We're going to just uh, use this spread operator. So we spread out the state, spread this state object, state object, and get the user out of that. Okay, so we're going to check here using the use effect. So use effect runs when the component mounts. Okay, use effect, it takes a function as an argument, we give arrow function. Second argument, empty array. We don't need to pass any dependencies, so leave it empty. So here we check if if we have a user and user dot token. So you should do this not just user but check for user dot token as well. Sometimes um, user the null value also could be considered as true. So when we check for user and user dot token that will make sure that we have the user in the state we which has the token as well right so if we have that history dot push we're going to uh, redirect the user using this method history dot push and we can push to um, the landing page home page no problem all right now i have written everything in one line if it is one statement you can you don't have to use curly brace with if all right so this is how we usually write and this is probably the way you should be writing but sometimes if it is just a simple expression like so one line expression you can also do it like this okay so let's give this a try now so this user is still able to access this space Okay, something is not right let me check okay so looks like here we have to pass the user as a dependency so when the user changes because when we get this user data from the fibers it might uh, not give us the actual user immediately it might take a couple of second milliseconds so whenever the user changes run this okay so as soon as we have the user make sure to redirect the user away because we don't want uh, to show the space to the logged in user okay you can see a user has been redirected forgot password if i try to go very soon we are redirected away perfect okay now you can use the same code in login and register as well so let me actually log out and give it a try I want to make sure this page is accessible okay yeah, perfect if you're not logged in you can access but once you're logged in once you're logged in you can't access perfect now let's do the same with login okay So we need to use uh, use selector and this code in the login as well. So let's go to login. Let's put that in use effect. Make sure we have use effect important. Let's make sure we have use selector and let's access the state just like we did here. So what we did here is we added use effect, we added use selector, we grabbed the state using use selector and we use the use effect hook to check for user. If we have the user, redirect the user away to home page. Okay, you can see we have already been logged, uh, redirected. Perfect. Let's do the same with the register. Let me actually open in a side by side. 
register so first thing you want to bring use effect you want to use if uh, sorry use selector from react redux let's get rid of the dispatch you can um, grab this state and you can use the use effect Okay, so that way you protect the register page as well. History, okay, so we don't have history. We need to de our destructure from the props. Okay, now register. Sorry, let's make it right. All right, we are re redirected from the register as well. Okay, so this way you can see, you can redirect the user from certain pages. So log out, you can obviously go register login, but if you're logged in, you don't access these pages. Perfect. 